Welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're going to show you how to plot a point on a graph or how to describe a point on a graph that has been plotted. Okay, so for example, what I'm going to do is describe how we describe a point. Okay, so on a graph, this is our graph, we will have points. Every point has a specific way to describe it. Okay? So we'll call this point, point P, but it has a descriptor of where, exactly where it'll be. Just like how uh, stars in the universe, they use coordinates, like where is the star located, uh, that kind of thing. And how we describe these points is by saying it's x value first, wherever it is, and then the y value. Okay? Remember, 100% of the time is always the x value, then the y value. This can be positive or negative, this can be positive or negative. It all depends on where the, where the point is, okay? So for example, let's look at this point right here. Where does it line up? Okay. Okay, so it's x value, okay, here's zero. It's right here, see? We just draw up, and that's where it hits the x, x axis, okay? So we've hopped one spot, two spot, three spots. So that means it has an x value of 3. Okay. Now where is its y value? Well, we, if we draw a line to touch the y axis, the vertical axis, we can find out that we're going downwards, minus 1, minus 2, we're going downwards to 3, but it's negative because we've gone downwards. Okay. So we know what x is, we know what y is. Therefore, our point is not p, x, y, but it is that. What it really is, there I'm just drawing it over here, is 3, comma, negative 3, bracket. Okay? This is how to properly write it. You need the comma, you need the brackets. You make sure to put the negative sign there. And this p, it's just a made up letter that I said Let's call it point P. You know what? If I said, hey, let's call this point A, then we'll describe it like this. A bracket 3 comma negative 3 bracket. Okay? It's just an arbitrary name. All right, let's try this guy here. Well, let's try this one here. Let's call this point B. Well, point B is described in X and Y. Um, so we are going, how far are we going to the right? We've gone one unit. So x is equal to 1. And how far up or down have we gone? We've gone 2 up. So point B can be described as B1, 2. It's just that easy. It's really actually just that easy. Okay. So that's plotting a point. All you're doing is counting. So if you know how to count, you're set. You're good to go in my class.